Ooh, what's up guys, of course, welcome to another video from me, Desk Gardener. And today we're actually going to keep going, of course, with Esglo. I decided actually to skip the number 6 video, if you want to see, or no, not number 6, number 4 of his videos. If you want to see that, make sure to actually check out Esglo's channel down below. He has all his up battles uploaded, so make sure to check them out, all of them, to be honest. And if you want to see his perspective of these battles, of course. So, number 5 is much more interesting. Um, which made me definitely want this one uploaded instead and you're gonna understand why until this part um, he has have a lot of close matches his first one battle was a lost 1-0 his second match against Starash was a lost 1-0 of course the third game that we were watching was a lost 1-0 and the battle after that was actually a close battle too with a 2-0 of course in his loss and um, this team much like the other ones were basically close matches and we're gonna see if things turns around or not but anyway just looking to Ryan Keys here or actually Baltimore Bishops he has a really nice team um, I really like it we got Vol Corona, Man or Manectric, Hitman Lee um, or Crodon, Orgline and Greninja now Greninja is not a big threat to Esquilo whatsoever um, but Crawdon could be extremely dangerous Arcanine could be dangerous Hippoly can hurt a lot of things if it has the right moveset um, I even believe to some extent that um, Volcarona could be dangerous because it packs Giga Drain Giga Drain is solving a lot of issues for uh, my opponent here uh, or against Esquilo of course um, don't really see the need of a bug bus as much as Fire Dance, Giga Drain, Quiver Dance, Roost maybe um, even Willow to some extent, Make Me Wally um, I'll definitely see Volcarona as the biggest threat to, my, to Esquilo here and for opponent's team here I really hope the traction is gonna make some work but um, basically if Esquilo is walling well here he shouldn't have any issues it's one of those things where the matchup is uh, like a lot of his Pokemon can deal with a lot of his, while his Pokemon can only deal with a few of his. Um, even Crocodile can be extremely dangerous if he gets the right momentum here. And of course, Mega Gardevoir is always dangerous, but I don't see it doing much this battle. Could be wrong though. Let's actually see what happens. I have been wrong before. Alright, the Rankies. Ball from the Baltimore Bishops. Gonna start off with Greninja. Very safe. And maybe a bit too obvious. Ooh, and this is a scarfed Electavar, I guess. So I, I do believe he's was feeling that. Gonna go into Bolt. And Intimidation is not. Whoa! Hey! Boom, bada boom! That's it! That's. Wow! Wow! Could it. Ooh, what is this? That is really cool! Alright, just gonna switch out there. Wow! That is. What a play! What a play! <laughs> right, to make our war. Tracing! The reckless. Ooh, the not normal gem! Danger! Danger! Oh, it took that. Is it the defense? Ooh, it's the defensive set. Sweet! So we're gonna go to Rook. Rogue, Rogue, Rogue. <laughs> um, I still believe Psychic does a lot of damage no matter what. Um, after Mega Evolution, goes for Hyper Voice though. That's resisted. Yeah, define resisted. And it outspeeds. No, what are you doing? It's too early for Volcarona. It's too early. And that's the hidden power. Is it hidden power rock? That's it! That's the game! He is not gonna come back from that! Not joking! That was his two most important Pokémons going down at the start of this battle. This is, looks a lot like um, uh, Esquilo's third game, where he lost two major players very early on. Alright, gonna go to Poseidon, of course. Could it pack Wild Charge, I guess? Actually, Snarl! Ooh, you're not gonna scare anyone. Oh lord, the worst part is I'm getting a feeling that his opponent is actually really good 
It just isn't working. It just isn't working right now. Gonna go back into Greninja, all right. And we're gonna see a double switch, maybe? Wish Patch is. He's got a Wish Patch. Whoa. Have to do it at the same time. Wish Patch, all right. Now, Greninja can't really do super effective damage here. It's gonna be a U-turn. Yeah, there it is. So he's gonna soak that, get the Wish back. He can go for a Skull, I guess. He's very safe doing so. Or rather, there's not a whole lot that's gonna be able to deal with that. Um, Alright, let's see. Yeah, there's a Skull. And can we get a burn? No. I think that's good. I think that was been really unfortunate. Actually, Hitmalee is super, super special defensive. Um, even though he has a Snarl behind him. It's still one of those cases where Hitmonlee has, I think, 110 special defense. That's actually really good in special defense uh, base, of course. Right, back to Greninja. You can't hurt this guy. I don't believe you can. Um, that's super, super sad. That's right. Crocodile's gonna come in. Um, yeah, there's a U-turn. Um, I don't have any need. For the likes of Stealth Rocks, I I think this battle is at its end, actually, because I do believe he's only got like two Pokemons left. Or three, or anything like that. There's Arc 9. And I think he was free, he could freely go for an EQ without any worries. Goes for the Stealth Rocks. Let's go. What the fuck? You have no need for all the rocks. You have need for the damage. There it goes. Now, let's see how much this really does. Yeah, that's a 2 hit kill. Had he decided to go for that? Oh, no! Damn, had he just gone with, that would have been just fine. That's terrible. So he's... He could... No, he's not. Can't, he can't take it out now. Not that leftovers. He's not going to go around that. Um, thing is, I don't see... Mark not being able to do a whole lot of damage to Crocodile either. Uh, but that's... oh, at least he didn't have the Morning Sun. At least he didn't have that. Now the bigger question is, can... Can Crocodile take it out from that range? It's gonna be close. Like I said, I don't see Mark not being able to do any damage here. Right, there's extreme speed. And uh, yeah, that, that's a nope. That's a nope indeed. And is this enough? It actually is. What luck. So, Alright. So Reninja's gonna come back, I guess. And pretty much what Esplo can do now is switch into Vaporeon and win. It's one of those rare cases. It really is. Alright, Crawdon too. Crawdon, of course, forgot about him. Hmm. But even so, um, I wonder. Slatania is celebrity. Hmm. Gonna go for Granny Dance there. Alright. Alright. At least he didn't go for a knockoff. That would have been extremely dangerous. Ooh, still out speed. And it takes it out. Oh, oh. That is too bad. I think the last Pokemon now is the Greninja. And, um, like I said, he can only. Actually, that thing is fucking scarfed. That's GG. That's the game. I think he got one more Pokemon left, but that's. Like, there is. No, yeah, it's the Hitmolee too. Oh, it's so, so tough. So, right, he's not gonna risk the potential knockoff here. Um, definitely going for that 6-0. Gonna go into Titania. And uh, there's a knockoff. You gotta soak that. And the retaliation will be real. He does have speed though. Uh, potentially scarfed and being reckless and all. And there's Hyper Voice. And that's GG. So that's a 6-0 win to Esclo. That is really unfortunate for the Ryan Keys or the, the coach of Baltimore Bishops. And I mean, what to say here? Terrakia, which I predicted was the major player, did not even show his face as well. Crocodile was a major player, um, 
but not in that regard. But Forbin was walling necessary things. Celebi came out of nowhere. Ooh, whoa. This was a really nice battle. Like, I'm not, not gonna lie here. I do believe the opponent here, Ryan Keys, um, made a very, very questionable call and switching in the, the Manetric there against the Electivire. Even if he predicted the, the Wild Charge against Greninja, um, I'm pretty sure Esco predicted him to go for a U turn. So, yeah, an EQ hurts a lot of things really well. And I truly believe Esco was going for, uh, or rather, predicting the Arcanine. So, that was a tough call, of course. And then losing Volcarona that early, also tough. Like I said, Volcarona was a major player in this battle, and using it like that was unfortunate because it had, like I said, it would have been a major player for Ryan Keys here. But then again, it's blue come through. What a game, what a match. Uh, good job, man. And um, yeah, good luck in the future of this season. And for the people who have been watching, if you like me to do anything like this in the future, I'll keep doing it. I actually liked this. I thought it was really funny just sitting on the couch, talking and see this battle and um, just judge, judge it as it go. But anyway, I want to thank you everybody for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Until then, take care. Bye.